Hello and welcome to our Expert Keys uh, keyboard tutorial, video tutorial. Um, what you need is actually one of our keyboards and our software to follow along. Uh, you can find the software on the um, included DVD ROM or on our homepage www.expertkeys.com for download. Uh, what you have to do is you have to find the right folder for your model. In this case, we are using the EK24 keyboard, but the software is basically has the same functionality uh, like all the other keyboards, but we, we're using the EK24 for this example. So you will find this uh, folder. If you open it up, there will be a few uh, files in there. Uh, we need the Excel um file uh, to start the software what I, the, the software itself doesn't install on the computer it opens up directly after you double click it so what i usually do is uh, create a shortcut on the desktop and um, then you have to connect your keyboard first via usb port usually the keyboard shows a, a green light showing that everything is fine then uh, you open the software with a double click choose your model click ok and here we go this is the software so now uh, for the upper menu uh, which is uh, this one right here in case uh, if it's in uh, german language please uh, pick this one here sprache and uh, choose english so it switches uh, the whole software switches to uh, English language and then we have file keyboard diagnostic language and help uh, file has the following new key map that means uh, you will start a completely new key map which is actually what we we do right now automatically but just in case you have already programmed something and you want to start all over again you do this and uh, if you do this the software will ask you uh, if you want to save the, the previous programming as a file you can also uh, open uh, files which uh, you have previously saved um, to to reload an existing uh, programming via um, file import or you can save uh, programmings um, as a file an exit means that you will um, close the software completely exit the software here in keyboard you uh, have the following options update the whole keyboard which will update every programming on every key and all additional settings like um, key repeat if the if the keys beep if you press them down and uh, whatever everything Update key mappings only updates the, uh, the the keys themselves, the programming of the keys. Retrieve keyboard means you will load in an existing programming which is already in your keyboard. You will load it from the keyboard inside our software and you can continue working on it or change something. Clear current layer means that you will um, clear all programming from the from the picked layer you have uh, 15 uh, different layers uh, inside of the software usually the main layer is layer number zero um, if you just want to delete a certain layer the complete layer all 24 keys of this layer you can do this right can do this right here or clear clear all which uh, clears the, the whole keyboard everything the whole programming there's also a keyboard setting options which has which uh, offers some additional um, parameters um, you can uh, pick if if a programmed key uh, should uh, repeat uh, itself automatically if kept being pressed if you want to do this you pick yes if you only want the programming to be uh, triggered once you you pick no doesn't matter how long you you press the key it will always come only once you have the option uh, beep with power on which uh, um, means uh, the keyboard will give a beep sound if it's plugged when it's plugged in um, for one time only in the beginning 
or you have additional sound settings. Uh, press with sound means um, every every press on a key will uh, trigger a small uh, short beep sound. Press without a sound, no sounds at all when the keyboard is pressed or only programmed keys will beep. That means uh, if the key is not programmed and you push it, there will be no sound. You can save these settings right here. And uh, this, uh, there's one additional thing, the delay time. That means uh, how fast the repeat, if you, if you press, if you enable key repeat, this is the, the speed, how, how fast the programming will repeat itself if the key is uh, kept being pressed. All right, diagnostic is uh, for some in internal diagnostic stuff. Uh, you don't need this at all. You can uh, skip this language. You can uh, switch the language between uh, German language and uh, English language. And help uh, just shows you the, the current version of the software. And that's it for the, for the top menu. Oh, there's also these little symbols, which are actually shortcuts. Um, this is uh, the open file. If you if you want to load an existing uh, file, you can do that. Um, this is the save file. You can uh, save a programming, or you can send the programming to the keyboard. You can retrieve the programming from the keyboard, load it back from the keyboard to the software, or you can uh, clear everything, erase everything, start fresh. And this uh, once again uh, only shows you the version number. And here once again you have uh, the layers to choose. So that's it for the uh, upper menu. Now to the programming of the keys. Um, if you uh, press a key with the mouse, if you click it, you have the following options, key code, ASCII code, layer index, clear and multiple key. So uh, the usual way and uh, most uh, common way is uh, to pick a key code, which opens up uh, this menu. And now you just type in whatever you want on your regular keyboard. So let me do this quick. I'm typing, um, hello, um, how are you doing? And uh, press in, uh, the enter key at the, at the end for no specific reason. Um, and you um, confirm this uh, by pressing the OK button right here. So now the software uh, shows, has a, like a, a, the key has a green background and um, shows the word string on it, which um, gives you the indication uh, that it's programmed. You now have to transfer the programming um, to the keyboard itself, which you can do here. On, on this button or here with update whole keyboard, update key mappings. Any one of these three options will do that. So I just did it and I get a confirm message, uh, update key mappings successful. Okay. So if I open that uh, document and I press the, um, the key on, on the top left, the one I just programmed, I'm getting the message, um, hello, how are you doing? So um, can press it number of times. So you see there is a, um, a typo in there. There's one N too much. So uh, just um, let me correct this. Um, I push the key again, again, I go to key code. So I'm looking uh, for, the, for the mistake. Let me just uh, see where this is. How are you, this N, this is the problem. So I right click uh, the the N and uh, pick delete. So now it's gone. That's it. I confirm it with OK. I transfer it again to the keyboard. And what I also can do now is um, I go to the keyboard settings and um, I click repeat yes, for example. I save this and uh, update the whole keyboard. So now um, if I type the, the key now, if I enter the key, you see um, it's, it's correctly done. And if I um, hold the key down, it will auto repeat itself. Let me do this. 
So you see it's uh, up to you if you want to enable the auto repeat function or not. Sometimes it's very useful, sometimes it can be the wrong option. Depends on uh, what you do and on the program you're working with. So I can also clear the programming, delete it. If I uh, press clear here, now it's it's gone. There's also the possibility to enter um, ASCII code, which is a specific American uh, code thing. Um, you can use that. If you open it, uh, you can enter the, the codes right here. You can also type something in here. Uh, type an ex ex example. Click OK and uh, if I send it back to the keyboard and um, now press the key again, it uh, will come. But um, as you can see, uh, since it's American, in my case now, the uh, the Y and the Z, they are exchanged, which is uh, usually the, the case uh, if you have an American system and use a European keyboard, um, the X and Y keys are changed. So if, if you want to correct this, uh, you have to go here again and um, actually make a Z instead of it and uh, transfer it back. Mm, if I type it now, it should be correct. Yeah, you can see it works now. Not every uh, s sign and every uh, specific key um, will work with the ASCII programming. It's, uh, it's not the usual way. It's made for ASCII programming, but you can use it uh, for text, but uh, you always have to double check if every key, every letter, especially special keys like at signs or or um, letters that only um, are used in your country, uh, specific country letters, they, they will not work. What you also can do is um, if, you, if you have a text, um, like a longer text, um, like this for example, um, you can copy this uh, text with a copy paste command. And um, if, you, if you go to the ASCII programming, you can um, enter everything with a control V with a paste uh, shortcut. Click OK, transfer it back to the keyboard. And, and then you have it again. Yeah, so it's a fast way to copy paste something. But um, like I said, the, the usual way to program is using the key code function. Okay, you can um, also uh, program up to 15 layers, which basically means you have all these keys 15 times. Um, the layers uh, are shown here. So uh, the default is layer zero. So you always program what the layer that is shown right here. But to switch a layer, you have to program a key for switching the layer. And uh, that key needs to be kept pressed uh, for switching the layer. You have to hold it down. So for example, right here, I'm um, choosing layer in, I'm in layer zero right now, the default. I'm picking um, layer index and I'm picking layer number one. So um, if I press this key and hold it down on the keyboard, it will switch to layer number one. So right now here in the software, I'm in layer zero. So I will program this key here with the name layer zero and if I switch to layer one right here you see the key is gone because it's a different layer so I will program the same key now but I'm using layer one as a name okay now I'm sending it all to the keyboard so now the same key, this key right here, will on layer one, it will say layer one. On layer zero, it will say layer zero. So let me try this. So I'm pressing the key on the keyboard. It says layer zero. Now if I hold down the top left key, which will switch the keyboard to layer one, 
the same key as typing layer one. See, I can uh, quickly switch. It's the same, the same key on the keyboard, which gives you uh, a lot of possibilities. You can, um, for example, program um, four layers here. Let's say you go here to, to layer two, from this one to layer three. And of course here uh, layer number four. Now you can uh, program these 20 keys four times on layer zero, layer one, layer three, and layer four, actually five times. And um, it's like uh, you have a hundred keys. Yeah, you just need to remember to press the right ones and uh, you have to memorize it or um, whatever. The possibility is there. If you uh, want to work with that, uh, you can do it. Clicking this to erase the whole programming. The last option is the multiple key option. That means um, if you're using um, double size keys here or quadruple size, a, a, a big key, um, you can use this option. Uh, you just uh, program um, one one key with a with a word, and um, you click the second one for multiple key, and one is already selected. So now the second key and the first key they they work together. They both will give you um, the same programming, which in my case is the word word as you can see and if, if it's pressed together it will always um, give you just um, one not not two of them this is only necessary um, if you use bigger keys than the regular keys bigger key caps all right you can also uh, copy and uh, paste programmed keys uh, for example um, using this key. Uh, if I want to copy this, I can do a right click, use copy, pick any other key, right click and paste. Now it's copied to this one. I can now, uh, for example, clear this one. Now it's still here. I can uh, copy this one again, pick a different layer, paste it right here. So copy paste works also between the layers, which is uh, very useful. Um, you can also cut and paste for changing a key. So I'm using the cut command right here and I go here and paste and now the programming uh, is switched to this key. So you can uh, quickly copy, move commands from one key to the other. There are also a few uh, special codes for programming. If you uh, press the key and use um, key code here on the right side, there are special codes. There's a few special things you can enter like the F13, 14 or 15 key, the volume up and down key, media select, mail calculator, my computer, and a few different things. Also a 0.5 second delay, which is very useful between a string of key commands, so-called macro programming. So, uh, there is a software out there that uh, needs a little delay in between. So um, let me give you an example of that. Um, right now I'm, um, I'm using an A then I uh, make a 0.5 seconds delay. And then I'm entering a B. And then I make uh, three times the 0.5 second delay. I enter the delay with a double click. And now I'm putting a C. So the programming now is A, 0.5 seconds delay B, one pi. 1.5 seconds delay and then comes the C. So let me send this to the keyboard. And um, let's try this. 
as you can see, it works fine. You can also do this between uh, key commands. All right. So what else do we have here on the with the special codes? Um, for example, using volume up on uh, volume up on this key and volume down on this one. Send it to the keyboard. So now if I if I press these two keys, um, actually the main volume will uh, go up and down as you can see right right here. That's a sign from my laptop showing that. Can also switch off uh, the sound of course. Going to keyboard settings, press without sound, save settings, transfer again. So if I do it now, the keys won't beep. I'm switching it back on so you can actually hear uh, when I um, press a key. Um, another one is um, the calculator or the my computer screen can also use those two so if i press um, the top left key with the calcul calculator program calculator will open if i press this key my computer will show the my computer screen you also have the possibility to open up a program with the touch of a button. Um, let me show you how this is done with, the, with an example of um, Microsoft Word. So I'm looking for the Word Excel file. Here it is. I create a shortcut to the, on the desktop, which is necessary in that case. I make a right click, go to Properties. And here Windows offers me a, a shortcut key option. So if I enter H, it will automatically be a control. This is a, the German, that means control. Control plus Alt plus H, I apply it. Okay. Now I have to program one of our keys for that. I am going to key code. I press down... Um, what was it again? Let me just double check which one was first. Okay, Control Alt H. So I press down uh, Control. Now it's pressed down. You can see the the color is slightly darker. I press down Alt, then H. Then I release these keys again. Go for OK. Transfer to the keyboard. So now if I press this uh, key, it should open up the word um, application. Okay, here we go. Not the fastest uh, laptop I'm working on. Let me try this again. All right. So you see it works. It will work with every shortcut on the on the desktop. You can also open a song or a document or whatever with with this method. There's also a second method method to do this. Once again, I'm using the word um, the word application. I'm uh, I'm dragging it uh, to the taskbar down below, right here. And now um, you can open everything that is uh, uh, right here in the taskbar with the um, with the Windows key plus the number. In that case, Windows key plus one. So that is what needs to be programmed to open up Word from here. So I go to key code again. Press the Windows key. The number one. 
press the Windows key again because it's still down. That's why it's slightly darker here. All right, confirm it, send it to the keyboard. Now if I press the key, uh, Word uh, will open up again. This time actually faster. Might be a better method. Windows can handle this obviously a little bit faster for some reason. So you can uh, put all your, your programs here next to each other and the first one will be Windows key one, the second one Windows key number two and so on. So this is uh, maybe the best way to open up a program. You can also program email addresses, um, but uh, that depends um, in, in which country uh, you are, um, depends on your regular keyboard where the at sign is at. So um, I'm, I'm using a German keyboard, so the at sign is um, at a specific place uh, on the same key as the letter Q actually. So I can only show you how to do it when that is the case. And um, it goes like this. Um, I'm using the address test at test.com. So I'm ty typing in test. Now um, to get the ad sign, I, I need to uh, press down this alt key use the Q, release the Alt key, that will give me the add sign. And now I'm typing in test.com because uh, in, in, in my case in Germany the add sign is on, on this key and is um, triggered by using the Alt first. So this is um, how I have to do it. You have to look on your keyboard where the add sign is is, and then uh, do it uh, according to accordingly to that. So if I transfer this now, going here and press the key, you can see it's a test at test dot com. So email addresses are definitely possible. And now I want to show you how you can um, save uh, a programming uh, to a file. So if, if you have programmed a couple of keys, like uh, say like this, and copy that, paste that, paste that, paste that. So now we have uh, four keys programmed on uh, layer number zero and um, you want to save this. You can either program, uh, send it uh, to the keyboard and we'll, it will go inside of the hardware unit and you can use it or you can save it as a file. Maybe uh, you're using um, different programmings for different programs or um, you want to work on the programming and not send it to the keyboard um, yet. So what you can do is uh, go to File, Save As, pick a location and name it. Um, programming 1. I saved it to the desktop. Here it is. So now I can um, erase the whole keyboard, uh, the whole software, or even close the software. If I open it up again, it will be empty and I can um, just open the file again, which is on the desktop. This is the one right here, programming one. I open this and as you can see, the programming is uh, back again and I can can continue to work. I can uh, cha change stuff, add, add new stuff. So this is how you save a programming to a file and how you reload the programming from a file. So um, that's it. Um, that's, that's all I have. Uh, I hope you uh, find these uh, little uh, tips and tricks uh, helpful and uh, 
I hope you en enjoy the keyboard and it helps you uh, with your workflow and um, see you soon. Bye bye.